the midst of the current economic gloom, today came some hard facts and some calculated predictions which indicate that one of America's chronic economic weak spots has been gaining strength recently. The Agriculture Department today released its official estimate for this year's winter wheat crop, nationally more than 1 billion bushels, or 300 million bushels more than last year. In Oklahoma, the estimate calls for a crop of more than 80 million bushels, as compared with last year's flooded crop of some 32.7 millions, or an increase of 250 percent, far above the 10-year average. It's much too early to count the 58 wheat crop harvest as money in the bank, but the forecast does add another brushstroke to the picture of the continued economic improvement of the American farm. For instance, this index, which compares what the farmer receives with what he pays out, a mirror of the all-important cost-price squeeze, has been rising in past months, indicating that the farmer's net income is also rising, and the gross income figures are also climbing. Weather conditions and abundant cheap pasture, coupled with a high price of beef, are credited with the improvement in our farm economy. But once again, the weather could ruin the whole picture. And Oklahoma farm experts report that if the weather doesn't dry out in the months to come, a wheat harvest forecast for the state may prove a little premature. Herschel Ross attended certain selected investors' meetings out over the state where they would meet and attempt to sell this stock to people. And at these meetings, Herschel Ross would uh, tell the people what uh, a fine institution, uh, Selected Investments Corporation, was, and he would lead them to believe that it was a sound institution, financially speaking, and uh, we say that he knew that Selected Investments was not paying the 6% out of earnings, but was paying it out of capital, yet he led these investors to believe that the 6% was being paid out of current earnings.
Well, you know, he was the head of the Securities Commission, and in our recent investigation, we have found that... Is this an unusual charge in this situation, or is it just a routine charge? No, we don't think there's anything unusual about it. We believe that these people obtain money under false pretenses, that they fleeced the people of the state of Oklahoma, and uh, they thought they were going to get away with it, but we're going to try to... any way that you can explain that? No, sir, uh, Governor. I was not connected with the department at that time and I'm not familiar with the way that it was operated. Yet, yet the purchase, yet the cost of equipment has gone up by how much since then? Well, I'd say... Uh, a third? I'd say a third. A yes. third. Can you explain why that it's necessary for Mr. Bailey? 